My name is Peter O'Toole and I'm a conservation ranger here in Killarney National Park and uh, for many years one of my tasks in the, in the National Park was, to, was the control and management of rhododendron maybe for the last 20 years or so and over that period of time we looked at many different methods uh, as to how to control the rhododendron and one of my main aims really in all in that time was to look at uh, more environmentally friendly methods and a more environmentally approach to the whole control program here in the park and as I say we tried many different methods you know foliar springs, uh, stump, direct stump treatment, variations of that, basil bark spraying, all kinds of everything and in 2006 I tried uh, stem injection I was a bit apprehensive before trying it. I didn't think it would be highly successful, but I was amazed at the results. The results uh, proved that if you carried out the method correctly, it would give you 100% uh, kill on rhododendron. The stem injection is it's a very efficient method, very effective method. Uh, uh, will give you 100% kill if it's carried out correctly, as I said. It's a very environmentally friendly method because you're only applying the herbicide solution to the stems of the plant of the rhododendron plants you want to kill and there's no collateral damage resulting and I think that should be t taken into consideration by anyone you know killing rhododendron or controlling rhododendron on a large scale especially in sensitive habitat areas and as well as that it's a method that can be used in all weathers regardless of the weather it can be raining and you can still apply it and it will kill the rhododendron and it can be used at any time of the year and uh, when I say that now it's obviously fast acting when the plant itself is active during the growing season. It will it will uh, kill the plant a lot quicker. But you can also apply it through the winter months. And let's say if you apply if you apply the method in uh, in November when the plants are dormant or semi dormant, you won't see any effect on the plant until maybe the the following April or May when the plant again begins to, to become active when the sap is rising and then you'll see the leaf fall from the plant and you'll get, it will kill it 100%. We've trialled this method now, you know, uh, and we've got very conclusive results and, you know, we, the contractors use it and it's the method we prefer over all other methods in the park. And um, it, 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 as I say, for me, it was the breakthrough method and, and um, you know, I want to demonstrate that today and hopefully uh, people will take it on board and, and look at the, the advantages of it. For the stem injection method now we use uh, a 14% solution of glyphosate with, with water obviously and that works out at about 7 parts water, 1 part, uh, uh, one part glyphosate. After our trials here we trial different solutions and we discover that a 14% is capable of killing the biggest plants here that we have in Killarney and some of them are, are pretty gigantic they're 80 100 year old plants so we have discovered that the 14 percent is, is sufficient so we can we've reduced the, the usage of herbicide you know by carrying out those trials and finding that it was successful and um, as, as regards applying the method itself there are three ways you can do it you can use a battery operated drill dr by drilling small holes maybe spaced four inches apart around the, the plant itself, around the base of the plant. And you can also use a hatchet, which I will be demonstrating now, uh, you will see in the video. And as well as that, we found the most effective way to carry out the method, the most efficient way was using a chainsaw. And obviously anyone using a chainsaw has to have the correct, uh, you know, competency and, and certification, etc. So, um, as I said, the chainsaw method, I think, we are probably the only park or, or place that I know which uses that method for, for uh, implementing the, the stem injection, but we found that to be the most efficient, and I'll, I'll be demonstrating that now.